doing with today? It's Alice and I'm back with another video. Um, how are you all doing? I hope everybody is doing very well. I am just leaving a doctor's appointment and um, I have two every week, but I'm going to start doing every two weeks because it's a lot that I'm doing and I, I got $40 copay and I got I to gotta split one in half. But today I have a little bit of a just want to talk about families today we're going to talk about family and family structure I come from a very old-fashioned old-school southern family my mother was from a place called Durant Mississippi and my father came from Titusville Florida my mother and my father met while he was serving um, World War, World War II. So my do my dad is an Army veteran, um, and there's seven of us kids. So my I'm the youngest. There's five in between, five six, and then there's my oldest sister. So there's seven. So there's Jackie, Montez, Lewis, Vincent, Eugene, Deanna, then me, and. Um, we all like were raised like my mother always did Sunday meals. She loved to cook Sunday meals. Uh, she loved to cook them all the time. And um, uh, she just she's very good at it. You know, she taught us how to cook. She taught us how to clean. She taught us what to expect in adulthood. She taught us everything. And then we had a dad. My dad was my best friend. My dad was all I had that sometimes when I knew nobody believed in me he did and, it, and 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 that's that's how our friendship was we were like tight we were we were uh uh stick we were as close as these you know we were sticky as these whatever you wanted that saying is but we were we were close and my mom passed away on my dad's birthday August the 12th no August the 29th 2011 my father passed away May 13th the following mother's year Mother's Day on Mother's Day so there's seven of us kids there's a lot of cousins, nieces and nephews we don't talk there's um, a part where everybody just went like this but if my mother and my father were still alive that would never happen everybody just went like this and I'm they're up here to them I'm down here and, I, and and it's just the simple fact of, I think what it is, is I was born, I wasn't supposed to be, you know, I was, my mom was 45 years old going through the change of life. So they call me a change of life baby. And that's what I am. And I, the, the black sheep, the outcast. Is anybody else out there who had a family, who had a family that stuck together, that loved each other, that didn't question who needed what, what do you need, what do you need? There, there was that. Today, it's what are you gonna give me? Entitled kids, entitled people that feel that they're entitled to what you have, entitled to what you work for, and entitled to interfere in that. I feel as if I should have moved or did what I have to do. And, you know, I wanted to go to school for broadcasting and journalism. So once I graduated from my school, I started working at Kentucky Fried Chicken. And I... I, I was good at it. I was good at it. We had a crew. I loved my crew. I ran my crew. I always was like the head O in charge because they just did it. That's a, that the, the, the head B in charge. That's what they, because that's how they did things. So now I look at family and I just don't see where we have that bond. It's just there's no bond. There's. They don't, 
don't have sympathy for each other anymore. They don't have concern for each other anymore. Everyone's like, if I haven't heard from you, I haven't heard from you. So if somebody goes missing, it's going to be, well, I don't talk to them. That's just the way it is. I'm the baby. They think, they think I'm so dumb. You know, they think I'm dumb. Listen, I'll be 48 years old next year, next month. I said to my family that I'm going to go on YouTube and I'm going to be a YouTuber. I want to make my career on YouTube because I didn't get a chance to do what I wanted to do. I, I worked at Kentucky Fried Chicken and then I got married after I got, I got pregnant with my son and then I got pregnant with my daughter right after that. And I married him and it was over 15 years of mental and physical abuse. Stuff I could never talk about. So my kids have PTSD real bad. And we all have the same triggers. But they don't feel like they should have to listen to me. And they feel like I should not have to give them advice on what to do. I, um, Everybody's going to use everybody. It's just, it's not even family looking out for family. It's like every time I hear from so-and-so, all they have is a bad day. And all they do is complain or they ask for money or whatever. If a person's not out on the streets, uh, just hanging out, drinking and doing bad stuff. And I can see not, you're like, no, I'm not going to help because you're not even trying. Like, you're not trying. Like... That's what I see. Everybody wants something handed to them. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with my family. Do you any of you feel like that? Like, if you call them, they sound so irritable. They don't even want to talk to you. And then you try to hang up and then they're, what do you want? That's what I get. What? I call my sisters. What do you want? I said, you know what? I'm going to sit here. Whatever they're going through is what they're going through. What I'm going through is what I'm going through. What they are going through, they are going through. I've tried so much in my lifetime to be there for my family and I end up feeling like a fool at the end because sometimes like I could do for them, but I, I, I have sister, I, my sister, I have a sister who doesn't even smile. I'm not, I don't even remember when the last time it was, the sister that's closest to me, not closest to me, but I'm, I, was, I thought I was closer to. She's, she's she's in her 70s and she's still working and she's getting ready, well, trying to retire. I don't even talk to her about it because when I used to talk to her about it, all she did was snap at me about it. So I, I was like, that's the last time she's going to snap at me and I will never ask her again. And I did it. And I did it. When COVID hit, I said, I'm not doing anything. I can't. I can't keep doing everything. I'm not going to keep doing it anything happens they call me but they won't help me it's not, I just I just feel like I just want I should be unavailable to them like they're unavailable to me I, I but you know when your family says you're not going to make it on YouTube you might as well just continue staying on disability I got on ability disability years ago because I have a bad back, I have scoliosis, early onset spinal stenosis, I have rheumatoid arthritis, I have bursitis, arthritis in my shoulders, my knees are bad, I have plantar fasciitis in my feet, everything is coming from my back. They want me to go into surgery, but I'm scared to. I want to get my career up and left. I don't want to go into surgery. I'm 48. I'll do whatever. I'll do it. I'll just keep getting my shots and take my medicine because I need a change in my life. And I don't want to have another surgery where I'm laid up and depending on somebody because I don't have anyone to depend on. And that's just the way it is. Everybody's living their life. There's nobody I can pick up the phone and call. You know, it's nothing like having an argument with somebody. And then you pick, you go and you think, who can I call and say, can you meet me to have a beer or something? And there's nobody on your phone. That You have no friends. Nobody on your phone. That's me. That is me. Because I don't have any friends. And I'm on disability. And I'm not ashamed of that because I work for it. But I don't want to stay on disability all my life. For, at 48, I'll be 48. I'm not going to sit there 
they have a back operation and have problems just so my family can say, I told you so. I told you not to have surgery. I told you every time they go in your back, they're going to go in your back all the time. It's just like, I, I shouldn't even base that on them, but I don't have the support system. And that's it. I don't have the support system that I need. So I could get surgery on my back. So I can just walk. But they don't, you know, I walk slow. I'm slow. I have a handicap placker. I'm real, real slow. It's not what I want to do in my life. I walk slow because I got a bad back. That's it. And yet, my family, you know, they just, I just don't. I'm by myself. I'm in this all by myself. I've asked both my kids to follow me on YouTube. They, and they're like, no, mom. Like, I don't have time for that. Like, but you're on Instagram. And you're on Snapchat. And you're on TikTok. Because I get notifications every time y'all are on it. But you can't go onto YouTube and, and subscribe to my family. To subscribe to my channel to help me so I can help you. No. Okay. I get to, I get it. Trust me. I'm understanding things a lot. The last four years of my life. I've been in treatment for PTSD, anxiety, and major depression for over 10 years. And I let myself be down and out for 10 years. I let myself not care about me. I, I let myself stay hidden in the, in, the, in the house. Don't go out unless you have to. No, my family does not want to hear about my past. They know what my past is. Why do you keep dwelling on it? Because I got, because my life was hell, and I'm dealing with it. But for everybody to come in and stomp on what I've done, like I don't need it. Like I don't need it. Like I'm, I'm doing YouTube videos every day. I don't, I don't need the negativity. Somebody like comment back and just like, so I don't feel alone in this. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Give me a thumb down if you don't. Because I'm always looking at ways to improve myself. But like I said, I don't have the support to be on YouTube. I'm learning everything by myself. Then I have everybody interrupting in my life. It's like I can't sit there and just sit still and not have to worry about not have to worry about who cares about me and who doesn't? Because I know ooh, that is nice. That's luxury right there. That is luxury right there. So anyway, yeah. I'm not. I'm just. I'm not. I don't. I don't have the energy to argue, fuss, and fight anymore. My, you know, my. Like I told you, my son wrecked his car. He lives with me now, and that's all I hear is fussing. And I'm tired of it. You know, you get tired to a point in your life where you're not around that anymore. And to have that come into your life and now you're around that. And you've and you've come to peace with being in peace. And then somebody comes in and, and once again rattles my chains. They, they just keep, it just never will stop. Sometimes I feel like it's never going to stop. You depend on me, but you don't like me. I don't get it. If any of you guys have gone through this with family and that you've tried to be in your family, I see, I've seen families destroyed over drug use, families destroyed over someone just being completely and utterly uncaring that treats you like anything. I, I've seen it. I've done it. And then for everybody else to look down upon you and talk down to you because that's what you went through and that shows that you're weak. No, that's not right. People, sh family should be looking out for one another. Family should carry on traditions that they grew up with to teach the youngins what love and life and family and unity is all about. Family should be about if I call you 12 o'clock at night, I know you're going to answer the phone. If I'm just calling you to say, hey, I'm just like tired. Unless you're sleeping or you're one of the people who are getting the calls and say, 
I'm not going to, uh, 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 I don't, I, I'll be sleeping and you call me at 12 o'clock at night. Yeah, because I'm the oldest, I'm the youngest. So 12 o'clock at night doesn't mean anything to me. 12 o'clock at night means something to them because that's me disrupting them. And then, you know, sometimes when I come up with an idea, if I come up with something that I want to do, sometimes my husband says, can I give you a better idea? And it's like, I like, no, I, and, and I will always let him do it. And then I said, I start saying, if it's not what I want to do, no, I, I tired of everybody telling me what I should do instead of supporting what I want to do. This is what you should do. No, why can't you just support me what I want to do? Why is this an argument? Because you know why? Because I'm just now starting out and they don't, they're told me that I will never, you know, I'm not going to make money on YouTube. It's, it could take you 10 years. If I'm on YouTube for 10 years and I'm not making any money, I'm just going to be done with it. If I'm on YouTube for two, three years and I'm still not making any money, what was the point? I get that. I understand it. Okay, what's the plan B? There is no plan B. I don't have a plan B, which means everybody gets to see me stay down because the less they have to tolerate me with me and tolerate me, the better. And I understand that. Like I said, I'm just the baby. I, 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 that's all they see me as. We had to help mommy with you. Okay. She she was sick. We had to help. If that's a, all y'all got to come at me about, you better go back to your closet and get something else. You better go dig into something else. That's all I'm going to say. You better start digging into something else. Because you got to find something else to hold against me. I've been there for my family and I did all that. Now, do, you, do you guys ever experience that? Somebody just, just cut, they don't even look at you and they don't, they look at you, they don't see, that's like they look right through you that you're not even there. You know what I mean? Or they look you up and down like, <laughs> she looked like she lost. I lost 70 pounds and my sister's looking at me. I always talk about my chest. She goes, yeah, your chest dropped a lot. I'm like, why is everybody so, uh, I, I don't know guys like family is just not the way it used to be I, I tried to do the traditional every Sunday meal so people you know everybody gets to enjoy stuff but no it's not the way it is it's not the way it is it is not the way it is Sundays people don't want to go anywhere they just don't that's that everybody wants to have fun I'm not gonna I, I told myself I'm not gonna end up like them in a house with all the doors locked and closed, all the windows pulled, all the windows locked. Don't look outside. If somebody knocks at the door, don't answer it. I'm not going to be that miserable. That's why I started YouTube. Because I don't want to be a miserable person. I don't have to be a miserable person. I've been around miserable people for so long, I'm done with it. If you, look, you ain't got to tell me twice you don't want to be around me. Just tell me you don't want to be around me. But they won't. So this year, I started asking for answers. What is the problem? What have I done? My problem is, with my family, is that I was in domestic violence. And that things happened that I did not know about. Wait. <laughs> See, I don't remember what I just said there. <laughs> because I was in domestic violence with my kids. Married to a cop. What am I going to do? And at the end, like, he said, well, she's a drug, she's an alcoholic and a drug addict and a criminal. How can you say that when I'm married to a cop? It doesn't make sense. I don't have a criminal record. I don't have no tickets on me. Nothing. And you're going to still say after 10 years... After 15 years that you, I'm still an alcohol. <laughs> That's the great thing. Because I'm not, I don't even stop out. I, I don't know. I just don't know. So, like I said, I started asking questions and I, maybe that's what some people should do. Start asking the hard questions. The hardest question to, for anyone to answer is why? Why? Why did this happen? And I start doing that. And I started putting my foot down about my life. Because if you don't support it, and you're my family member, and you're my sister or my brother, 
and my kids and you don't want to support me but I but when you need help I come you come to me you come to me and my husband so now I, it, it's like double standard what do I do I don't I, <laughs> I live my life that's what I do I do what I can I can only do what I can that's not good enough this is never going to be good enough oh I don't know why I'm doing this one I can just oh I'm gonna I... yeah I gotta get gas so I don't know guys I really don't I don't know I'm just emotionally drained and it is what it is and that's it but I am going to pick myself up because I don't have anyone to come down and go, Alice, pick yourself up. Come on, man. Dust yourself off. You should not let things like this happen. That's what I want to be to people. I want to tell people that be able to help people get through stuff like that because I'm so experienced with it. It's just like, let me, you know, you don't have to deal with this. You, sh you, don't, you shouldn't have to. And all kind of stuff. Just trying to be nice. What does it get me? Yelled at. But I'm just going to say, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. Making my videos. And if I make it, I make it. I hope I do. Because I don't want to keep talking about I don't want to keep talking about it. I, I don't. I'm done talking about it. But I just wanted to give y'all that a little bit about me. Or just see if anybody else goes through this. Because it's a sad thing. But uh, I'm going to make it. Because I have, I have no choice. I've already started. And I want you guys to enjoy it. So after that, after today, I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about what's going on with me. What's going on in my life. What's, in, what's going on in my day. Because see, if you're not going to support me, that's it. I have nothing for you. Nothing. I, I, I feel sorry for you. Because since they are that way, I do feel sorry for them. I feel sorry for you. What else can I say? This is fun. I want to have fun. Come join me in my videos. No. Okay, I could do them by myself. But you know what? I, 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 I'm just going to make it. I just got to keep telling myself that. To keep trying. It's hard. Every time I get everything the way I want it to be, something happens. But listen, I'm just, it, it is what it is. And I'm just going to work through it. And I'm going to continue making videos and everything. And I'm going to be happy because that's what I want to be. I kind of work on getting there. And that's it. I already have the determination. So, hey, the next video, like I said, I'm starting off new guys. I'm going to be me. I'm going to be me on my videos. And it's a shame I could be me doing my videos when I can't be myself at home because everybody just thinks I'm a dingbat. And I got, I get it. I get it because I'm the baby. You don't, you don't have to like me. It's fine. I've, I've never, I, I just, it's, you know, I want to be that person to pick somebody up and say, oh, come on. I, it's, it's, I'm here with you, but I don't, I, I'm going to do that. That's what I've always wanted to do. So the next time y'all hear from me, I'm not talking negative. I'm not talking anything negative. I don't do no more negativity, just positivity in my life. If I have to go off and do myself, I will. But you guys have a great day. And please, you know, I know it's hard for y'all to view my, I know right now I'm not doing anything exciting, but I'm working on it. Like I said, it's, I'm all on my own. There's no YouTubers around me. There's nothing. So I'm going to just continue trying to be better. So everybody have a great day. Great, ha great Have a great afternoon. I am going to get my gas now. So please do not forget to like, to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button. So every time I post a video, you will get notified and you can come on and check and see what I'm doing. All right. Have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye.